my story started with Shreya making lots of, uh, uh, like in the residency, assisting so much noses. Yeah, yeah. And he is a guy, just he gives me also uh, freedom to, Emre, you do this now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Rhinoplasty podcast with me, Dr. Cameron McIntosh. So we're in season three, we're doing live face-to-face -face interviews and we're coming to you from Verona with the EAFPS 2023 meeting. And I'm very excited about the guy I've managed to track down. He's, he's a mover and shaker of note. He's just flown in from Istanbul. Emre Ilhan, so nice to have you on the show, man. Welcome. I'm nice to meet you again, Cameron. So uh, this is for me really cool to be able to sit here and talk to you because I was in Istanbul just two days, three days ago. I visited, I saw Tio and Barish. I just had to fly through there. Now I'm here chatting to you. So first thing, tell the listeners a little bit about who are you? Because this is listened all around the world. Yeah, so thank you. Uh, also, thank you for doing such a great thing uh, to, to leave some benchmarks uh, in the history of facial plastic surgery in Europe. So uh, I was born uh, and raised in Istanbul. Yeah. And uh, I, uh, I'm, I, I always wanted to go to medical school because my mama was a biology teacher. So we were, uh, I, I was al always like uh, very interested in this and uh, she was always telling me that you have the, the, the handcraft to do something as a surgeon. So uh, that's why I, go, I, I went to medical school in Izmir, Ege University. Okay. And then uh, I was there like six, six years. Then I, I there I, I, I was a, I was a uh, guitar player. Oh, yes. Then I become a, a cover band member. And then, yeah, we were, we were playing rock music. And then I, I, I interested in the, the guitars and the, how they make it. Yeah. And I, 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 from the third grade in the medical school, I started to work with a crazy guy who is doing, who is like crafting the, the guitars with the handmade uh, wow. crafts. Yeah, electric guitars and bass guitars. And I started to, to, to work with him as a carpenter like selecting the right wood yeah, yeah. and how we combine the, the because you, you know the wood is something that living like a cartilage yes, yes, so so yes. so the maybe sometimes you, you see in the furniture that it goes somewhere it yeah, bends yeah, yeah. so so the, the the main thing in guitar making electric guitar making is to combine the pieces of different woods yeah. for example maple like and yeah yes yeah. so you you stick them very very powerful still like like uh, things yeah, chem yeah. chemicals and then you like calculate and measure how the two pieces of the for example the one guitar has one uh, different uh, uh, wood here and one yes. different wood here they, they, these are different here trees okay. so the thing is uh, i i did some kind of carpenter uh, craft for three years at the end of, and, and three years of, of the medical school. So then after, after that, I, I, I went to the ENT. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't think that uh, I, I, I would be like, like rushed into this rhinoplasty world and always like for, for years and years thinking and dreaming about something about the cartilages and, yeah, yeah. And, the, and how we combine and how we suture them. This was a surprise for me because when I go, come to the, to the uh, residency hospital, yes. it was a very busy hospital. Was it still in Izmir or no, in Istanbul. Istanbul. Okay. I, I, I switched yeah. to Istanbul. Then at the same night shift, at, at, the, at the first night shift of my, my uh, residency, yeah. I met with Suraya. No way. Yes, this was my, my turning point of my uh, fate or something, yes. uh, you see. Yes. Then uh, he told me I'm also night shift. I'm in, uh, I was in the night shift and we talked all night. And then uh, he, he saw that I'm, I'm, I'm very interested in this kind of like sculpturing yeah. and doing something, uh, you know, from something to something, like evolving yeah. something. So, so then uh, he started to take me to his operation. But he was also uh, learning because the, the year was like 2000. So uh, he was he was just been to some courses in Europe and he was just back to Istanbul and he was he has a big energy to do to to do some kind of rhinoplasty work yes. and and he was very delicate surgeon I I was trained with him he was he, he was also even he he operated me mm -hmm. and I, I always tell like we we learned rhinoplasty from Shreya he learned on us <laughs> <laughs> because he's he has this thing he when when he has a nurse when he has a resident or fellow yeah. he always operate. Really? He, he just offers that that's great thing. <laughs> <laughs> he, he learned on us. So then in my residency, I was very lucky to, to have the, to see the good su Turkish surgeons uh, yes. when they are doing it. Uh, and then 
I started to do my own works after, after the residency. Yes. So he told me that you go to the Asian side, you do your own clinic, you can do now. Surya supported me so much about this. And then, then I started, and it was the era of the Facebook, like, like newly coming, there was no yes. Facebook. Yes. So there were, there were some forums and the things, and I always wanted to do so much because I was telling that I will do my best of the best and I will uh, have so good results that these old results in the future will be sending me because they're walking, walking advertisements. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, so I, I knew this before because I went to, uh, I went to Boston for American Academy meeting. So yeah. I, I saw that, that they, were, they are thinking differently from us. Yeah. They are thinking marketing. They are thinking about how you show your result. And they're thinking about what is success and what is not. So yes. this, this, I, I've been to one, uh, one uh, Congress part, which is about marketing for three days. They, they leave three days for marketing. There was like psychiatrists, there was like yes. social media people, yes. Yes. and they, they were talking about forums, mm -hmm. they were talking about... So then I, I had a blink there. I, took, I called them satories in my life. Like I do meditation, yes. uh, I do transcendental meditation yes. for 20 years, and... In the meditation, you have satoris. Yes. Satori is a, is a causeless enlightenment. Yes. You don't know why, but you have, you have some answers yes. about something. So, so then I, 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 I told to myself, Emre, this is, this is your thing. You love this. Yes. And you will be going on, the, on, on this, but you will be doing everything right. Yes. Like, and then the Facebook uh, came out. And the, I, 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 it's interesting that I am the first man who yeah. took photographs with his patient and like uh, my beloved patient, uh, Alicia yeah. is like in, his, in, in her 10th day and she is feeling very right and we did this kind of nose. So this, this, is, this was like first, a patient just told me that, let's do it. And I put to my Facebook and it was, wow, likes and uh, like so, so, yeah. so, so many comments, good comments. So she, she was like 10 days, she, she had the cast, but I started to do this. So first, first of all, our uh, old guys was just criticizing me. Oh, he's a, he's a social media guy. Yeah. But you know, now uh, I, I foreseen what will happen in the future. Yeah. Every, everybody should be in, in the social media in yeah. somehow. And also we will be in somewhere in social media to, to announce this. So my story started with Surya making lots of uh, uh, like, in the residency, assisting so much noses. Yeah, yeah. And he is a guy, just he gives me also uh, freedom to, Emre, you do this now, I will watch. Then he, he yes. corrects it. The best learning thing is to, to give something hands-on yes. and to be there. And when you come, if, he, if there's some problem, now, now I train my uh, fellows like this. Yeah. But at what stage? So your fellow, how, how many months must he be in before you starting to let, let him do a few things? Uh, it's 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 a good question. It's a, it it dif it is different in every every surgeon. Yeah. It it because they are not residents who comes to me. Yes. Uh, in Turkey, we have a team of five surgeons. One plastic surgeon now, yeah. and I tr I'm training all of them. But I'm taking I, I'm looking to their results, and I I can guess their hands how they are, and yes. and yes. not only the hand I. Eyes so important. That I, I mean, the eyes, the aesthetic sensation and proportional feeling. This is this is the thing that we, we should have all. Like uh, I, I call it the eye, because you know the, the, a musician should have the ear. Yes. You mean what? Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean. So so the thing is, the eye is so important because I, I when I see a result, I can tell you that yeah, proportional eye. This is a this is a result. This is a. This is a uh, result of a very proportional and trained eye. And all, I always tell in my, my uh, residents to my uh, fellows and in my meetings, I always say, train your eye, train. Yes. This is the most important. I trained my eye with good results in the first days of my residencies. That's why I was so in love and I, I wanted to do this. And then the, I started to work with my clinic and uh, with, the, with the social media and forums that I learned from Americans, that I used them also. I didn't learn also from Toriumi to the spread of grabs and flaps. The business side of it. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. But this, this is very important because if you love something, you need patience. You love this and you need patience. But you, and you have good results. Like, for example, 10 patients you operated and you are very, very like excited uh, to have patients. And you need more patients to, to make it like a, uh, to make yourself satisfied with yourself 
and to to have the blessing from the people yes. with your yes. with your results with, with you do something and they bless you for this 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 is a thing it's it's uh, more than any drugs anything that satisfies us yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we all surgeons in my perspective all surgeons are, are addicted to serotonin and dopamine and these adrenaline so we are we are, we, are, we have an addiction of having blessing with our results and what we do yes. so yes. So then, uh, of course, we, he, he should show them because uh, I, have a, I have a saying in my Congress is that result is the king because they were writing to Instagram and uh, yeah. I'm hearing that he's, he is making people call them king. No, I'm not the king. Result is the king. Because I do yes. something, the, yes. the young ones are king, king, because I could, uh, they want to see examples like with, the, with their fashion, with their talking, with their everything. Yeah. They want to see some heroes like like for them, because he's a resident, he wants to do rhinoplasty, and he sees neighbor, neighbor in, in the neighborhood. Yeah. There is a, a guy called Embra. He's doing good stuff, and he's sharing it. And now he has some hope to 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 become like Embra. That exactly. is, these are the things. Yes, Embra. It's so nice to listen to. You. Okay, so wait. Let's just get back to this thing about meditation, because. You, you've got to be busy with what you're doing. I mean, you're running courses, I understand it as well. Yes. Um, you are all over the social media. You're working, you're training residents, yes, fellows. Yes. Just let's get back to this little thing that you spoke about meditation because you need to kind of center yourself before yes. you run on the day. Does that happen throughout the day? Or? No, no, I, I do two times. Every, uh, every day I do two times, like 20 minutes and 20 minutes meditation. We call it a transcendental meditation. Yeah. It's coming from, of course, from the southeast uh, of Asia. Yeah. So uh, it's, you, you have a mantra yeah. and you, you, you repeat the mantra with nothing willing, like, like willing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so you repeat, repeat, repeat. Then you, you become in the, in the in an area of, of conscious. Um, what, what you mean? What I can mean that you are conscious, but you are like sleeping, yes. and you feel everything like. Wow! Like, and yeah. is that normally when you have those moments of insight of what you're going to do yes, next? Yes. Really? Because uh, for for them, you know, Atman and Brahma, you, you should go to the Brahma to yeah. to, and it makes me like. Uh, for sometimes in the past, I was I was like, I'm not now older. I, I was not sleeping so many like like only four hours, five hours was enough for me. Yeah. But I, I was meditating two times, and it is like a it is like a good sleep also. But consciously, you think about the problems; they, they come. You don't think they come to you. Sometimes the solutions also. Okay, now I want to ask you another. Like Istanbul is the epicenter of rhinoplasty, with the big guns are there. I mean, Goxels there, Barish is there, yeah. Tio is there, you there, Cylinders here. There, it's a lot of guys. So it's it's kind of Weird, you've got to be friends, but you kind of competition at the same yes, time. Yes, of course, this is the problem. It's uh, difficult for you guys. No, the, 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 yes, but, but, but this is the, the, this is the, at first of all, uh, we were with Barish big comp competition, but we talked and we, we just overcome so many things. Yeah. But sti still, uh, you should, you should be, when you're getting, your, your name is getting bigger, you do something, you should be like in smaller inside of yourself. Yeah. So, yeah. I never, after like last five years, I, I never think about any competition. Yeah. Because now we have the names, we have the patients, we have the money, we have the things. Our uh, children is going to good schools. Th this is not the thing. Uh, you should be like a little bit controlling your ego yeah. uh, when you have this, this much competition. Because yes, but, but the Istanbul thing, which makes Istanbul like this, is the guys like us. Because we are, we are so ambitious, we were so ambitious, Barish, me. Yoksel and Shreya is, is the little bit uh, upper generation. Yeah. Also, that they have some kind of, uh, the, the, they are in the competition, but uh, we saw from each other, he's doing this, I should do this, he's doing yeah. this. It's like yeah. a ladder yeah. that yeah. you climb. Exactly. And Istanbul just climbed the ladder like this because of yeah. these, these people, all these people. Our, uh, our teachers. Also, Fazal, you know, he has a tremendous effort on the academies, learning objectives, yeah. and uh, and you know, in the in the COVID time webinars, he's he's a he's one in a million man. Fazal, he's so yeah. so hardworking, yeah, yeah. so hardworking. <laughs> you know, I can't be like this. I, I I respect Fazal not because of he was my my teacher in Ege University. Yeah. He was when I was a student. Yeah. I know him so many times. He's he's like my grandson of my my ch child. But this is not these are not the thing. I respect him because of his hard working. He's yeah. he's putting putting the line no, so no, high. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No. So these people are are also Shreya yeah. is giving and teaching 
And he told me, I taught you so many things. You will teach everyone. And that's Give what me a did. promise. So, so this, this leads me to my next topic and question I want to chat you about is your course that you run. So I had a quick look, and you're going to have to tell the listeners how to actually log on and get there. But what is this? So many Brazilian guys on your course. What have they got to do with Istanbul, the Brazilians? Yeah, so, you, uh, we can, uh, you know, I, I know Mario Ferraz. He's yes. my good friend. And yeah. also Jose Carlos Neves is like my brother. So yeah. we, 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 we formed a small friendship yeah. and the family circle with, yeah. uh, with these uh, three, two guys. He, they, they are so good surgeons, so good people. So pure heart. We call them the pure heart rhinoplasty group. Like okay. we, we, uh, we are always like uh, <laughs> teaching, sharing. Yeah. Uh, and with Mario... I, I've been to I've been introduced to Wilson Davis. Wilson Davis is their mentor, and he's a, he's a very fun guy. He's a very good guy. So he he's telling me that Mario and Carlos are my sons, and you are my grandson. Okay. And he's saying you are a good surgeon. I I know a good surgeon from uh, the, how he holds the scalpel yeah. like this. He he loved me, and I did one uh, life surgery in Lagiado like yeah. four five years ago. Yeah. So then all the Brazilian colleagues, but they have a big, really big, uh, like. Lao on rhinoplasty in Brazil, Colombia, and Mexico. Big love about this. No, it's amazing. Yes, they, they, they and and we started with Mario uh, with the all-in-one rhinoplasty meeting. He was he was the one. Then the Carlos. Then the the other guys. Then it becomes like a very famous course in the South America. Yeah. And also now it's becoming. Uh, we, we we had last year Chinese participants. No it's it's very rare. In European meetings, and I told them you should involve the European Academy because we should be forming good relations yeah. with them. So when is your next meeting? Uh, it's in it's in May. The big meeting is in, in May. First in May 2024. Eh? Uh, yes, 20, 2024. And uh, what are, can people if they come to the meeting? What are some of the things they're going to learn there? So the the thing is, we we have so many Turkish young surgeons which, who who they are dealing with so much ethnic noses, so much mestizo noses. In to Turkey, to Istanbul, everybody flies because Turkish Airlines is flying to everywhere. So we have uh, African patients, we have mestizo noses, so they can learn. And and uh, the 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 courses, the meeting is more focused on reshaping. Yeah. Because for me, in my perspective, uh, the rhinoplasty will go to this. From preservation, it will go everything with reshaping with preservation, reshaping with structure. So we focus, everything is focused on reshaping. With the birds, with the piezo, with everything, with, the, with Bowie, whatever they use. And uh, it's a very intense one. Like, like every eight minutes, seven minutes, there's a new uh, speaker. Uh, I think we, we did good, but we should, we should do better. <laughs> That's Next year. Yeah. That's yeah. it. You keep on pushing for more yeah. stuff. Yeah, and we, we will have good good surgeons from the good surgeons, live surgeries. Yeah. So so live surgery is a good thing, and we, we have pre-recorded live surgeries. Okay, that's like, that's quite helpful, yeah. eh? Yeah. Like you did in the, the meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So last two things I wanted to ask you is, um, what does Imra Ilhan do when he's not doing rhinoplasty? Uh, usually now I'm, I'm uh, spending time with my two children because one is seven years old, one is two and a half, so oh, the two boys. Oh, yes, uh, yeah, yeah. He, they are, they are always coming to my meetings. They yeah. know, they, they think that they are surgeons as well. <laughs> so we, 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 in the in the summertime, I always go to Bodrum House. We have a house in Bodrum, and we we play there. We invent something. We have good. Yeah. Now nowadays only this and reading books. I, 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 I try to read books about biographies of yeah. people. Even I, I listen to YouTube bi biography channels when I'm showering, when I'm doing yeah, something. Yeah. Yes, this is, this is, because uh, that's why I respected what you are doing here. You are making benchmarks that you are uh, putting us into the history of uh, facial plastic surgery in Europe. So yeah. this, is a, this is a big effort also. No, it's amazing. I mean, it's not just Europe, it's in the world. People yeah, can now, because yeah. they, they see this guy out there, but who is he? What makes him tick? One more question. Do you still play guitar? Yes. And are you still in a rock band? Uh, no, no, I don't have a band, but I, I wish. I, I think in a couple of years I, I will be forming a band. Uh, because Carlos is also a bit of a musician. Yes, we, we sometimes yeah. sing together. I also sing That's cool. in, the, in the past, yeah. <laughs> Emre, man, it's lovely, man. It's like a Thank breath of so fresh air chatting it's, to you. It's a big opportunity for Thank us. You Thank you for coming to, to take time off. I mean, you're in your business. It's my people. big pleasure. And really, I think just carry on how you are pushing rhinoplasty around the world. It's really cool. Though. No, you, the, I, I told to Carlos also. You, uh, Carlos, you will be the president. And we need young stars. 
we need to share everything and we we need to like like rock star you see, you see like why people admire to these pop stars and not because they are the pioneers they are they, they they dress good they talk good they they share something in our uh, perspective it should be like we should we should be letting someone coming like a star like good doing yeah. rhinoplasties disciplined surgeon but also a good person and not jealous of this guy yeah, this guy this, this is what what this is not I, you know, I, I, I never do something to, yeah. to if somebody saying this is jealous of you. I said, no. what, what to do? What to do? Yeah. Guys, thank you for listening. Imre, thank you for being yeah. on the show, and we'll chat again next week, guys. Yeah. Shot. For those of you who are only listening to this on a podcast platform, please try and reach out and get onto YouTube because on our YouTube channel we've got some really cool clips where I interview the guests. Yeah.